So we come to the last um, um, presentation um, for our session. And this is by one of our younger academics, um, um, who's an undergraduate um, law uh, student here um, at KDU. And her research interests include uh, Indus-Sri Lanka relations, South Asian studies, um, and law related to bribery and, and corruption. And, but she's also completed a higher diploma in international relations at, at Bandaranaik uh, Center for International Studies. So the paper, um, I believe, is co-authored with um, a, a number of um, academics as well, but here is Ms. Nalawata, um, to look at Sri Lanka's relations with China and India and how the country balances its strategic ties with the two countries considering um, their geopolitical interests. Session Chair, fellow panelists, learned gathering, a very good morning to all of you. My paper is titled, Sri Lanka Between Geopolitical Interests of China and India. Ladies and gentlemen, Sri Lanka is lying on one of the most important geostrategic positions in the 21st century has attracted so much attention of many. China and India, the rising powers of Asia, have special interest towards Sri Lanka and compete to gain the dominance in two different ways. It is intended by this paper to assess the importance of the support given by both China and India. In this presentation, I will be discussing Sri Lanka's strategic location, rise of India and China in the Indian Ocean, geopolitical interest of India on Sri Lanka, geopolitical interest of China on Sri Lanka, and geopolitical implications for Sri Lanka. In this map, you will see shipments transiting through the Indian Ocean region. Sri Lanka is positions, positioned right in the center. Two-thirds of the global trade and 80% of the global oil shipment passes through the sea route line, 12 nautical miles away from Hambantota. This is turning to be the lifeline of global business. Methodology used in the, this regard was qualitative analysis, and the secondary sources used were textbooks, electronic databases, journals, and newspapers. China has made plenty of investments in the West. In order to compete to be the next superpower, it is crucial for China to enhance the investment and trade actions with the third world. Rebuilding the ancient maritime Silk Route is a step of that journey, China moving into the Indian Ocean region. China, with a motive of taking control over the Indian Ocean is engaging with de developments project with Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, lying on the center of string of pearls, will act as the hub that connects Asia and Africa. Chinese ties with Sri Lanka is mainly based on soft power diplomacy. Currently, Chinese companies are involved in a number of development projects such as infrastructure, communication, and port development projects which enhance the strategic importance of Sri Lanka, funded by Chinese bank loans. These infrastructure projects and development projects include Hamban Putta Port, Mattala Mahindra Rajapaksha International Airport, and the Colombo South Container Terminal. Greater attention has been paid over the Chinese deals to build telecommunication and information technology networks in Sri Lanka as the Lotus Power Project, Tower Project. Though it is stated that it will only be used for non-military purposes as transmitting signals of 50 TV channels and over 35 FM radio stations possibility of using the same facility for military purposes is worrying India. It should be noted that China had not only increased her economic but also her military engagement. 
particularly where Chinese Navy expanding its defense power throughout artificial islands on the South China Sea unveils her interest in dominating the oceans. India is estimated to be the world's third largest economy by the year 2020. In that journey, India is highly focused on keeping SARC countries under her reach. India's geopolitical interest towards Sri Lanka is not a novel one. It, uh, India's influence towards Sri Lanka in President Jayawardena's pro-Western era reflected India's uh, interest to keep her backyard under her control. India sees China's expansion, expansion of relations with Sri Lanka as an enormous threat to India's security. India is interested over the Sri Lankan ports are probably more strategic than economic. In order to counterweight China's presence in Hambantota and to dominate the Indian Ocean, India is planning to build the Trincomalee port. One of the most discussed incidents currently uh, when it comes to Indian, Indian uh, concerns is the Trincomalee oil facility. Among 99 tanks available, three of them are already given to India, and it should be noted that as per 1987 Indolanka Accord, it is hard for Sri Lanka to lease those tanks to another state. Sri Lanka currently does not have the potential to use those uh, oil tanks to get its maximum benefit. Therefore, leasing those oil tanks to India is a fine option. <laughs> 